going on guys? Welcome to episode 16 of Full Day at the Shop. Should be a good day once again. Um, thank you guys for the continued support. The videos have been doing really well and uh, really makes me happy, man. You know, we put a lot of work and time into these videos, so y'all support means a lot. If you guys haven't already, like, comment, do all that good stuff. If you're not subscribed already, please do. Um, but yeah, well, let's get into the full day. As per usual, we'll get into the uh, heat new arrivals first. So we actually had a pretty dope buyout yesterday. It came with a few pairs that I'm about to show you and a pair of lemonades, um, the off-white Air Force lemonades. Logan took those home though. He had been looking those, looking for those for a while. Um, so yeah, ended, Logan ended up taking those. They were nine and a half, like pretty clean. And we ended up buying those for 950 and the rest of the stuff was in that buyout. It was 3,200 for the whole buyout. Uh, but let me get the rest of the stuff so you guys can see some really cool stuff. So it was this whole buyout right here, um, plus lemonades that Logan took and it was 3,200 for the whole buyout. Um, everything was dead stock except for those lemonades and these Travis fours, but these are, extremely extremely clean i mean like honestly we probably could have wiped them down and pretty much passed them as dead stock but the travis fours right here these are all size 10 by the way except for these these are a nine and a half this is a no box pair one of the early pairs but um still you know that makes them a little bit cheaper so that's always cool uh nine and a half everything else will be a 10 travis fours dead stock off-white sale fives fire red fours dead stock and dead stock 2019 infrared sixes so pretty cool but little buyout um for yesterday and then also another one we weren't able to get on camera um this happened pretty close to close last night we got a couple of dunks right here uh the valerian blues and the bone beiges these have been doing pretty well for us uh women seem to like this pair it's a really nice colorway so yeah but yeah i think that's about it for the new arrivals got a custom couple few customers bringing astro puppuccino he loves it it's like two today yeah it's astro second puppuccino if you guys want to bring astro puppuccino bring him in one he loves it <laughs> Quick little fit check. Okay, we'll go ahead and get out of the way. Stussy head to toe per usual. Uh, the LA hat, classic. My little Stussy uh, race car tee. And my Stussy crinkle pants. And then one of my favorite shoes of this year, man. The Amamanir Air Jordan 4s. I think they looked really good with the shirt. Got a little bit like the brown right there with the shoes. Um, but yeah, that's what we're working with today. Try to get out of the way before Logan gets here and destroys me. All right, a uh, little uh, D DM sale. Um, like I said in previous videos, if you guys want things shipped to you, just DM us on Instagram. Really smooth process. We're always checking our DMs. So just DM us on Instagram. Let us know that you want to buy something that we either posted or that you saw on the website and just add $15 for shipping. That's all we charge for. Astro wants another puppuccino, but that's all we, <laughs> that's all we charge for shipping is 15 bucks. So if you guys want to have something shipped to you, just DM us. This is a little sale we just had a few minutes ago. Uh, shout out to Nick for purchasing a clean, clean pair of 2017 Royals. I mean, literally passes DS pretty much. I mean, about as crispy as it can get other than just being brand new. So shout out to Nick once again for the Royals. These will be going out to you today, brother. Um, and yeah, if you guys ever want some more orders to you, just let us know, DM us. All right, it's another uh, typical looking fit, man. Uh, so uh, we got a hoodie. Uh, Stussy hoodie, really Stussy hoodie. Right, get the back. Uh, shout them out with the assists. Uh, as always, man. As <laughs> usual. Uh, then we got a. Oh boy. Well, got another Stussy shirt underneath. A little faded Stussy tee. Just a little layering, you know. It's all in the details, you know. Just, just little details, you know. Little, all those little things. Uh, cargos. You know. Don't even need to say anything. Uh, off white fives. Me and Raul, we're 20 today. Not planned. Not planned at all. Not planned, man. I mean, great minds think alike, so. Yeah. You know how it'd be. <laughs> Daniel, get in there. Get in there, Daniel. All right. Uh, Giants hat today for a special reason. You'll see why. Uh, just basic Supreme tee, some gray pants, and then the cut puff San Francisco pair. Daniel looks like you straight out of places. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's tea. Oh, and then I also brought for content. The cut New York pair. Professionally cut. Tell us in the comments Daniel. which one you like better. Professionally cut by Daniel. San Francisco or New York? I got San Fran just because the highs, the OG highs. I like those a lot. I get those. I got New York all day. Really? No, just <laughs> These are cool though. I didn't even realize this until now. They had the little skyline on the back. New York skyline. Is that the San Francisco skyline? Yeah. These are pretty dope, man. Daniel cut them really well. Professionally cut. Like for real, they look, I mean, they look like they came like this. Pretty wild. Got some really nice quality. It's my first time seeing them in person. 
someone brought a pair in with a, it was a mystery pair, and you don't want to open the bag. I was like, well, probably not going to buy it. I don't know what pair it is. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, pretty cool shoe, man. You got the tie dye right there underneath the uh, cut. So this is like, like a little puzzle. Like, like a little puzzle. Pretty cool. I like when they do these mystery bags. I think it's pretty, I think it's a pretty cool concept, you know what I mean? So don't be afraid to open them. You can reseal them, guys. So it's okay to check and see which one you are. So if you come in here and saying, it could be the friends and family pair, I need $500, <laughs> you could literally just open it and then close it back up. So I want to open it, you're good. oh my god. <laughs> a pretty cool shoe though. Um, yeah, man, I mean, not much else to say. Nice details, nice quality. I forgot to cut this one, Daniel. Oh, you haven't cut that one? I forgot to cut this one. Oh, Logan. God. Dang, you actually got that on there. Really really you cut that perfect, dude. I mean, it's really, crazy. Patience. Should I keep these guys? <laughs> Sharp blade. How long did it take you? Should I keep these? Let so me know in the comments. Is. Should I keep these? No. I'm not asking Raul. Could you guys let me know in the comments if I should keep these? I don't know. Should he give them to me? How about that? No. <laughs> I'm asking them, not you. <laughs> <laughs>《Kobe that bitch up there. Should I? <laughs> Hope they're not gonna be like. That's cool. All right, cool. Come get them. Come and get them, man. Let's see. All right, let's post notifications on, man. Uh, gonna be dropping stuff all throughout Christmas break, man. So just uh, stay tuned. Uh, new pickup for me. Uh, these came in yesterday along with a couple of the pairs. So uh, worked out a trade with the. Uh, this guy, this fella right here. Not always the easiest thing to do, but you know, Come on, dude. we we got it done, man. You know, we got it done. Uh, I'm gonna be trading my taupe fours, the like brown ones, not the union ones. Pre loved. And yeah, pre loved. Uh, and what's the other one? Sixes. Oh, the sixes for two fifty, which oh, the Travis sixes, the British khakis. I don't really care about those. And I'm gonna be adding four hundred, so I feel like that's pretty good. So we got these for a good deal yesterday, so it's I'm happy real. about it. A shoe that I'm gonna wear probably much more than the other two pairs. So it's all good. It's all love in the end, man. It's a Grailio right there, man. I'm happy, he's happy, he's making money, and I'm walking away with a Grail. So breaking even. Okay, so all four of us are gonna pick out our Christmas picks for this year. If you guys are trying to gift the sneakerhead, these are all a little bit curated to our taste, but you can't really go wrong with any of them in my opinion. Um, I guess we're going to start off with our lower end pair, so we're going to do like three different sections. Lower end, mid end, like you know, four to five hundred. Lower end will be like 150 to 200, mid end will be like four to five hundred, and high end will be like eight to a thousand. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to go quick first. Uh, this is a shoe that I think is pretty slept on, and I think the value is about right for what they are. Um, you know what I mean? 275 bucks, I think that's pretty solid for a really solid colorway and a very solid quality Jordan 1 right now. Uh, this in 2019 would have been a $500 shoe, like out the gate easily. Um, so this is a good shoe, pretty much one shade away from being a shattered backboard. So yeah, that's my pick for the low end. What you got, Logan? So uh, I got the ALD 550s. Uh, good colorways. Good colorway, man. Uh, I mean, literally can wear it pretty much with anything. If you watch my collection video, which I'm sure you all did, uh, mine were destroyed, so I mean, I literally wear them all the time. Very wearable sneaker, man. Can't go wrong. Yeah, neutral and comfortable. Yeah. All right, my cheap one, Tom Sachs GPS. I think it's the Sulfur colorway is what they called this. I think this shoe is insanely slept on. Every single time I wear it, I get compliments. I've had four people ask me to buy pairs for them uh, at $200, honestly a great value. It is women's sizing, so pay attention to that, um, but super comfortable, something different, easy cop. I like them. 
I went with the budget Travis. You wanna hold that for me? It's like a budget off-white, honestly. It's like an off-white shoe, if anything. Yeah, I mean, I own these, and I mean, they just look really good with pants. Yep. They come with the cream laces, too. The, the cream you pop those cream laces in them, these are dope. Yeah. Honestly, it's a good I, shoe. I've gotten compliments with the cream laces. Like, people were persuaded to buy them after they saw them with the cream yeah. laces, so. You were one of those people, right? Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, these are like 200 max, I think. Yeah. I think we have some pairs of like 190, so yeah. Cheap shoe, dope shoe. Uh, next for my mid tier, one of the best sneakers to drop this year. I've got them on my feet right now. The Amominier Air Jordan 4. We have a few sizes in these left. I've already sold a couple, but um, really good shoe, man. Great quality per usual from Amominier. Um, good, cool colorway. And that get that quilted inner liner. It's just a really dope shoe. I really do like these. We got these at 450, and then the smaller sizes are a little bit cheaper. I think like 390, so not too bad at all. Uh, but yeah, the Amominier 4 would be my pick for the mid tier level. What you got, baby? All right, for me, I got the hottest shoe out right now. Uh, I mean, literally can't go wrong. Full mid tier, about uh, four or five hundred bucks. You know, depending on size. Depending on the size. If you're a GS size, you can get them for less than three hundred. I mean. Name a more iconic shoe, all weight. I mean, how to shoe all right now, man. Can't go wrong. Good pick. It's your mid. All right, <clears throat> my low to mid tier, it wouldn't be a Daniel List, but an SB. Uh, crushed DC SB. Honestly, I think these are super slept on. 250 bucks, the brown, the orange. That great. Travis Brown. Sure. <laughs> I think it's more of a Jown Brown to me, honestly, um, but. Great colors, you can wear this with literally everything because the brown, the gray, great fall, great fall winter shoe. And at 250 bucks, honestly, cheaper than everything else here. Another black shoe for me. I love this shoe. If I didn't have the off-white version, I would have uh, caught these, but I still might get them. Gotta have uh, both. I think the laces did it for me too. Yeah, it has to have the Nike Air in the back. And then, of course, when I saw Matt with the white laces. Cream. 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 Whoa. Cream. <laughs> cream laces, not white. Cream. I was sold, so yeah. definitely another good mid shoe. Yeah, beautiful shoe, man. Classics. Onto the heat. This is if you're really trying to ball out, you know what I mean? Um, it's an expensive shoe, but again, one of the best sneakers of the year. The Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low Reverse Mocha. My favorite Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low, personally. Um, beautiful colorway, man. You got the cream, you got the brown, you got the white. It's a really, really dope shoe. And it's not like a dark, dark mocha brown. It's almost like a ashy, like gray. I really, I just really love the shoe. Um, so this would definitely be on my list if you're trying to really go crazy for someone this year. But yeah, top three sneakers of the year for sure, 100%. If you're really trying to stunt, I mean, who doesn't like these, man? Who? These are beauties, man. Uh, I know if I got these as a gift, I'd be psyched, so. I'm sure if any of you wonderful people got these as gifts, you would be psyched as well. We have them at a great price, uh, $1,600. VNDS, super clean. I mean, literally, probably tried on. You can see it, they're super crispy. So uh, come shop here, man, come get them. We have an eight men's Get them while you can. We have an eight men's available too for 1100 so pretty good. Pretty good if you ask me. All right, my final shoe. This is a shoe that started it all for a lot of people. Yeah. The Sean Witherspoon 197 Air Max. This shoe is honestly iconic. This could go down in like the top 10 shoes of like all time. Um, you would think that these would be hard to wear because all the different colors, but honestly, this shoe just kind of goes with everything. Um, this one is used. It's a size nine and a half for 900, which sounds high for a used shoe, but honestly, these just don't come around that often. These Eight, are- 895. 895, sorry. <laughs> <Even better. clears throat> These just don't come around that often. This is such an iconic shoe. People don't like to sell these, so they just become harder and harder to find. They get really beat, and the suede gets all, or not the suede, the corduroy gets all torn and weathered. This one's honestly in pretty good shape for what, a 2016, 2017 release? Yeah, 2017. So, honestly, great condition. Just clean up the bottoms a little bit. Um, fire shoe. My pick. Not a black cat. See, Raul's got a taste. All black shoes. Cause, I mean, you just can't. If you're gonna spend a grip on the black cats, 
on an all-black four. Might as well get the cause, yeah, Might literally. Be. This shoe, yeah, what, what Raul just said about the cause, the, the, the black cats. I mean, literally, dead stock black cats are going for the same price as these would, like, lightly used. So just yeah. get a cause. Like, what are you doing? Just get a cause for That so I didn't know that so glow in the dark, but... Even the midsole suede too, really yeah. cool touch. And then the inside is really comfortable too. So. Yeah, it's like a leather, it's like a really nice high-end leather. So, how yeah. much are those? 1600 dead stock. Size Not too 11. bad. Not too bad, size 11, yep. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it, right, for our for our picks? Yeah. If you guys need some holiday shopping. Um, for all our secret Santas out there. Yeah, for all the secret Santas out here. Um, come pull up to the vault. And uh, also, if you are, hey, what do I get? You know, I might, he's got everything. I don't know, he's so picky when it comes to shoes. We've also got you covered. The Vault DTX gift cards. We got them now. So if you're really confused and you're not sure what to get, your picky sneaker head, no worry no more. We got gift cards. We've been selling a lot of these, so come grab them. Where'd you get these ones at? Sneakers. Sneakers or foot? Is there any mold on them? <laughs> You've seen that, right? They have seen that. So many pairs of yeah, mold on them. Right, I've seen that. Okay, cool. So you want to do the sales? Just add the rest. So let's do the sales. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah let me check them out. That's what you got. They're brand new. Yeah. Well, then also. Well, can you grab the the box? Yeah. Let me see those one more time. Hey. I think those are better than the MCAs. I think you think I, these I like better those. than MCAs, do yeah, you? I think so. I can't argue with you on that, man. That yellow just pops. Regardless of the outfit. Shit. Where's the other one? I got something close to color, though. <laughs> what are you, uh, what are y'all buying the, uh, I know they released this weekend, but what are you gonna buy the chairs for right now? Right now, much like 240, 250. 240, yeah. 20, yeah. yeah. The deal, man. I need to know. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, you. Absolutely, man. Appreciate yeah. you, bro. Take care, man. Stay safe. Yeah. Little recap. Um, I gave him $400 store credit for his lost and found. Dead stock, size 10, no mold. So, pretty good. Um, yeah, man. We need more shoes of these. I'm posting these immediately, and I'm sure they'll be probably sold by the end of the day because we've been getting ass non-stop. Oh, do you have a 10? Do you have a 9? All we have is eight and a half right now in men's sizes because we sold out of all the other ones so quick. Um, but yeah, man, you already know this shoe. Not much else needs to be said. The hottest shoe out. The hottest shoe of the last, probably like five years, honestly. So you really, so you really think New Balance is going to die? New Balance is not going to die. The hype on all these like collabs that they're like blowing up the market with will die because out in like dc like the 990 v3 has been hot for like ever the 992 and the og gray colorway has always been hot the 990 v3 and all that look at like perfect example the salehis that dropped this morning like the 990 v2s sat in the regular sizes like 10 and under for like 15 to 20 minutes the the hype on these collabs is not what it was a year ago. See, I, I would disagree with that, and this is why I would disagree with that. Let's take a look at the Jones, the 992s, the, the OGs, the good old OGs. These came out in 2020, and literally, it's only gone up from there. It's only gone up. I mean, there's literally not a, a point where it's gone down. I guess right here, but I mean, that's just all sneaker market kind of went down a little bit. But now they're still over 1070. Probably because there's, there's no pairs on the market. I don't, I don't want it to die. I have New Balance, so I'm not saying we want it to die. I'm just weary of spending that much on New Balance because I'm worried it's going to die. That's all I'm I saying. don't think that's I'll keep spending. I like the mold of value, value like something like a lost and found will hold its value. Now there yeah, are different I mean, price ranges, yeah. but like I would be weary about investing money into like a Jown 99 V2 versus a Alma Veneer 4. Well, you're comparing apples to oranges, dude. It's both, a, they're both fruits. The, no, it's just like, it's like... They're both fruits, man. The, you're comparing a, a New Balance to an Air Jordan 1 Chicago. Like, the Chicago is like such an iconic, like, silhouette. That shoe, I mean, you and can release... Balance isn't? Not, not to that extent. Not yet. I think it's becoming one, though. That's, my, that's kind of my argument, is I think... So then would, like, an orange lobster be a fair comparison? I guess, because... 
SBs, there's always been a market for it, but we're in the hype of the SB market right now. I guess not the hype of it, but we're SBs in- SBs are dead. Yeah, yeah, I guess not. But but they're I guess, dead as a doorknob. Unless it's a super hype collab, they're $200. But it's a better comparison because there's always been a market for SBs. There's always been SB heads. There's always been New Balance heads. Jordan's pretty much just across the line. Everyone likes Jordan. So SBs are kind of a better comparison because there was a, there was a time where everyone kind of liked them. They fell off hard and now they're back up again. They're still up. A good SB is still gonna sell out hey, you know every time. Because the GOAT, Travis, he started wearing He said it, he said it himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you admitted it. I'm glad you admitted it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's true, man. I mean, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I buy shoes because I like them, not because I'm worried yeah, about that, the, that they're going to die. Funny. I like I buy shoes because I like them. Let's revisit this in December of 2023 and see what New Balance is like then. Okay. Dude, I yeah, sure. Believe sure. Me, I, I hope they don't die. I have New Balances. I hope they don't die. I'm just saying I'm I'm weary of spending that much on them. That's why I'm saying. Yeah, I, buy shoes, like I, I buy shoes on not an assumption that they're going to die. I buy shoes because I like them. That's as fine. long as they have John Branding. You got it. <laughs> so what do you say? There is a super old video of Matt. I say super old. It's probably what, five, six years ago. He's in the car and he was like, the Jordan 1 is like the most iconic shoe ever. I'll never be caught dead in two, three, fours, elevens. If you ever see me in those shoes, I'll give them away for free. How did you even get that clip? <laughs> Who even, how did, I'm not thinking about it. Like, how did you even see that? From the app, ever record that? No, it was you in the car. Me? Yeah. I don't know recording that. <laughs> I literally <laughs> swear to God, I don't remember. How do you even know or have that clip? Now that you said it, I remember. I didn't. I don't know. I filmed you, it all. We didn't record it, but do you also remember the huge reverse uh, or whatever he flip flop? He flip flopped oh, on gosh. that shoe right there. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think Matt's words were. Oh, dude, they really missed on these. They could they could have done so much more. Yeah, dude, they folded yeah. the bag on these. All right, dude, these are fucking fire. <laughs> Literally, yes. The reason we picked up the camera is because there's a new John coming out, the 991s, and I was saying I'm not picking those up. And you can mark my words on that one. I will not pick those up. I really won't. I'm glad we got all these footballs. Uh, Make a big montage out of it. I really don't like that. I, shoe, I, I think Matt's gonna see a fit with these on IG, and he'll oh, DM me like a week before you know they come you know, out. You know, and you know be like, the, clean. You know it's the same colorway as the 992. So you really think I'm gonna need both? It's yes. the exact same colorway. Because you're gonna be, oh, now I don't have to wear my 992s as much. I can preserve <laughs> okay. their value. I really and don't I can like wear that. These, I can wear these other ones for $250. I just don't like that model. I don't like 991s. <laughs> I hate the soles on the 991s, personally. The beginning of the end for Matt Aguilar. <laughs> the rise and fall of Matt Aguilar. A couple of buyouts we weren't able to get on camera. It was really busy in here earlier and people were checking out and we had a couple of buyouts too. So we weren't able to get this on camera, but a couple of good ones nonetheless. Uh, right here, one of my favorites of last year, the neutral gray. 2021 Jordan 1 highs the first time these have retroed since 85 so I really like this shoe we got these for a really good price 150 um, they're used but they're very clean it's a size 13 so these will be going up soon just got to clean them up Get some elbow grease into them and then a few more pairs right here what do we pay for these I believe this was 300 for this buyout might have been a little more can't even remember but yeah these are three size six and a half shoes which is always good Always said we have a lot of girls and kids around here, so these are good. Um, Topaz fours, a used pair, pretty dirty, so we're gonna definitely get these cleaned up um, before we put them on the shelf. Obviously, we can't put them on the shelf like that. But a little uh, used pair, size six and a half. Um, another used pair. This one's a little bit lightly used, more lightly used though. A little pair of mids, a really good colorway though. Um, also size six and a half, and then one more. These are an eight and a half, eight women's technically, but they're all eight women's technically, so. Six and a half men's, but another really good pair that I think would move. Um, little pink pair, I think they're, so this is the next nature pair, um, but these are called like the peach, I think. White, pale, pale coral, I think something like that. But yeah, three really good movers for us. Um, good sizes, eight women's is always a good size for us and three really good pairs that I think are gonna fly. Do you have prices on mine, bro? Uh, yeah, I was thinking probably like around 200 a piece. 200 a piece? That stock just have a replacement lid. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I got a short 
Houston? I'm originally from here, so I'm cool. back, you know, trying to get rid of some stuff. But, sure, bro. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no Appreciate it, bro. Um, uh, so I'm probably going to hold off on everything except for the Rebillionaires. I'm really just trying to take dead stock stuff right now, unless it's a really good used pair that I need, like a Jordan 4 or something like that. I'll take used 4s, but... Um, or like used V2s, I could do that, but um, yeah, I'd probably hold off on the rest. Just, you, you, so you want a two on these? Yeah. Um, are you negotiable at that at all? I can already kind of know off the top of my head that's a little high for yeah, this pair. Yeah, pretty negotiable. Especially with the rep lid box. Yeah. Well, that's not a big deal, but would you do 140? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. We can run that. Hello everyone, it is Tuesday. Um, so we ended up filming last weekend, or last week on fr on Thursday, because we're all had to fly out to Gotswell on Friday. And everyone that knows that we film on Fridays ended up coming on Friday, so there was no buyouts on Thursday. It seemed like everyone was waiting for Friday, and then everyone came on Friday, and there was a ton of buyouts Friday. So it's all good. Please keep coming on Fridays. That was just a little out of the ordinary. Um, but thank you for everyone that came on Friday. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to film a little bit more content for you guys, because uh, Thursday we didn't get too much buyouts or too much action. Just because, again, a lot of stuff happened on um, Friday. Cause it seems like everyone held out for Friday. Um, so we're going to film a little bit more today. A little bonus content, I guess. Um, this is Tuesday of the next week. And it's busy, man. Um, Christmas is in full effect, I feel like. Um, sales have been crazy. Uh, we've definitely gotten a lot of buyouts. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a few new arrivals that we got over the weekend. And, um, yeah, hopefully we get some more buyouts. We just did. So hopefully we get a few more buyouts before I always got to go today. But, yeah, let's get into some new arrivals. All right, starting it off, we got a almost a full-size run of the Huff SB Dunks. They're not really SBs. I don't know why they're SBs, but they come in a purple, a Rambo box, sorry, and they say SB on the tongue, but it's not a fat tongue, so I don't know. They're really cool shoes, though. Don't get me wrong. Um, we have a six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, eleven, eleven and a half, and fifteen. So, if anyone needs these, come grab them. This was one of those buyouts that came on Friday. Massive buyout. Um, yeah, man, those were the, this was the first, these were the first pairs we had gotten in store and it all came at once, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any Huff Dunks, come grab them, we have them pretty well priced. The smaller sizes are at like 235, um, bigger 255, and then like the massive ones, like 11 and a half, 15, um, 295, so not too bad. I think this will all be gone by the end of the, the week for Christmas. These, uh, stuff's been moving, man, stuff's been moving. All right, um, we also did a trade that I wanna show y'all. Um, so the guy needed a size swap for the 11 and a half Union Black toe that we had, the pair that Logan said wasn't coming back. Um, what do you know? It's gone. But uh, he didn't. He needed a size swap for that, and he brought in a size 11. We worked out a size swap on that, and the 11 actually sold the next day um, on our on the website for an in-store pickup. So that was pretty dope. He already came and picked them up, and then in that same deal with that size swap, he sold us a pair of dead stock shattered backboards, which is. Pretty wild, man. You don't see these dead stock very often. It's probably the first dead stock pair I've seen in years. Um, size 11, we got them at 1500, which I think is a really solid price for a dead stock pair. But yeah, pretty wild, man. Um, we ended up getting these for a pretty good deal. I think it was, I can't remember, because it was kind of like a trade. I gave him credit. It was kind of a weird deal. But yeah, we got these in the deal. Really cool, size 11. We also still have an 11 pre-owned, um, which is a lot cheaper, 1150. So, I mean, if you want a really crispy pair, we got a dead stock pair. If you want a little bit of a more worn pair, we got them right here as well, so. Two size 11 shadow backboards, come grab them. These are both dead stock, right? Yeah. And it was 440 on these two? Yeah. That's cool. All right. Dead stock hyperspace. <laughs> Analog. Yeah, 440's cool on those. <laughs> um, Just got these in, so this is the one by the yellow pen. Yeah, I'll probably hold off on these, but I really don't do Shoes this true. small, That's yeah. Um, and then there's this, the orange one, and then I have three of the promise dolls that I know. Uh, promise. I'll probably hold off on this one because I have all three of them already. In the, I, I know it's a little different, but I don't really need the same one. What do you want on the promise? I was just trying to see what you got for. You didn't have a price in mind at all. That was probably 600 on you. Okay, yeah, I'll probably just hold off on them then, bro. I don't, I don't need them like that. What are you looking at? Is it, what colors do you have? I have uh, brown and two black. Uh, like, if I were to take one, I'd probably take the brown. I'd be quite a bit lower than that, man. These are just, they take forever to sell. Yeah, it's pretty much, it's honestly 
mainly for display and then if someone happens right. to buy them, we, we'll sell yeah, it. No, I'm but, just hoping. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, if you wanted to sell it, would be like 450. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so that's cool on these? Yeah, that's Okay, cool. Give Zell. Yeah. Got Zell you. A couple miles to start off the day. Uh, this is what we were hoping for on Thursday, but you know what I mean? Everyone came on Friday. Please keep coming on Friday. Just forget I said anything about Thursday, but um, yeah, a few pairs to start off the day. A dead stock pair of Rebillionaires. The only thing that's wrong with these is there's a replacement box lid. I'm not sure why, but got this for a great deal, so can't complain. Dead stock. All this is dead stock, which is great. Been saying we need uh, dead stock stuff for Christmas, so. Uh, ten and a half analog, which we just sold yesterday, so this is just replacing the one that we sold yesterday. Uh, dead stock pair as well, and then another pair we just sold a couple days ago, the Hyperspace dead stock size 12. Just replacing the pair we sold the other day, so yeah, great stuff. I'm sure, this will all be gone by the end of this next Christmas craze week. Uh, do you have a price in mind? Huh? Do you have a price in mind? How much did you want? Um, same. Can you do any better than that? How much? Um, I can do 380. That's cool. All right. Do you have Zell? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll Zell you. So this guy, he also had the Amomineers. Two sneakers of the year right here, man. Two of the sneakers of the year right here. What'd you want on them? 450, that's a little high. Um, Good drop. What's your lowest? 400? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's lowest ass. Would you do 350? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not lightnings, no. I mean, bro, with 350, you could easily find yourself a pair of lightnings for sure. I mean, easily. I really can't, man. Payout's 330 on StockX. I'm already overpaying, honestly. It's a good shoe, though. That's why I, I like it, but. With 350, you could easily get yourself a light. You'd have money left over, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. If you change your mind, I got 350 on it. Appreciate you, bro. Right, that's good. Thank you, man. Later. All right. So we finally were able to close the deal on this shoe. You guys know from the last video we were not able to, but we were finally able to close the deal on this shoe. This is one of the hardest shoes I have had to make a deal with, man. These pairs are so annoying to buy. People want crazy high and expect it and like just don't budge at all. This guy was willing to work with us a little bit, which is always nice. Thank you for working with us when you guys come in. Um, but yeah, we got a pair of Lost and Founds um, in a size 10 and a half for 380. It's a great price, I'll pay that all day. Um, I, we are paying really good on these, so if anybody has these, bring them in. Um, just please do not be asking over market because obviously we can't pay that. Um, but I'd love to buy this shoe for pretty close to market. You know what I mean? So we can catch you guys out but yeah this is a pain of a shoe to buy right now it's very hard to get so anytime these come in i try my best to get them and i pay high so yeah i'm not mad at it though 380 is a really good price for a 10 and a half and it's a little bit of a bigger size um no mold on this pair as well so yeah glad to have these will probably be gone by the end of the day honestly about to post them up right now though uh, over the weekend we also got a couple of more 90s pairs which is really cool um not like my favorite models or anything but still really cool uh, shout out to the guy that brought him in, but uh, he even had the boxes for him originally. It's a pair of 13s and a pair of 14s, which is really cool. Love these 90s Airs boxes. And we've got a pair of the Indiglo 14s from 99 up there. I had the, uh, what retro was that, 2014, I think? I had the 2014 retro freshman year. Um, definitely not my aesthetic anymore, but <laughs> uh, very impulse purchase. That's what crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Indiglo 14s from 99. And then also, pretty cool pair right here, the 97 Playoff 13s, which is pretty dope. Um, Raul, you said that they're retroing here soon? Yeah, uh, next year. They're... Next year? Yeah. Dope, man. Well, yeah, a pair of uh, Playoff 13s from 97. And honestly, both of them are in excellent condition. Um, but yeah, pretty cool with the boxes originally too. And you know, if you guys have any more 90s pairs or vintage pairs that are just sitting in the back of your closets, please bring them in so we can add to the uh, plethora of pairs we have on the Raptors. Also, we had our first fake pair of these come in the other day. So um, a pair, something to watch out on on these Lost and Founds is fake pairs will not have these sales tags. The box did not have the sales tag on that fake pair. And then the box was like way too small. It was a, what size was it Logan, a nine? It was a nine, right? Yeah, it was a nine. It was a nine, and we have eight and a halfs in the back, and the eight and a half box was bigger than the nine box, so that was also a, it's a major red flag. 
Um, the paper was just off. The receipt also looked off. If you, if you can get them side by side, it's pretty obvious. Um, there's not really good fakes of them out yet, so it was not... I think he could have definitely scammed someone, but uh, someone that like us that sees him every day, it was pretty obvious for us. Um, and then also the back heel was just not cracked enough. It was almost like pretty much solid black. Like it just didn't have the cracking. Um, so yeah, watch out for fakes. They're already out here. They're not too good yet. So I don't think you guys will get got, but someone that's not super knowledgeable definitely could. Um, so be careful. That's the main thing is to watch out for. The main obvious thing was the no sales tag right here. So if, that, if they don't have that, I would just 100% stay away. And then <clears throat> the stickers do peel off. Yeah, they peel off too. So don't let anybody tell you like, oh, I took yeah, them off. Exactly. Like, there's no yeah. reason to take there's them no off. There's no reason to take them. Why? It's literally part of the coolness of the box. Like, yeah. why would you take that off? So yeah, um, if it doesn't have the sales sticker on there, just stay away. Don't even bother. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. I guess, because I, I watch you guys all the time. Appreciate so, it, man. So, uh, These are used? Yeah, they're both used. I was just trying to see if I could get some credit. Credit? Yeah. Uh, did you have prices of mine, bro? Credit, I don't know, like 100 and 250. Okay. Um, doesn't look too, too bad. Are you negotiable, bro? Because they are a little bit dirty. They're gonna have yeah, to. Yeah, I know. They're okay. gonna need some elbow grease in them. Um, yeah. What are you thinking? What do you? What's your lowest on the cool grease? Because I, I might pass on because they do. They are yeah. a little dirty, but I mean, what's your best on them? 220. 220. Okay, yeah, I might just hold off on these for now, bro. It's just a little too dirty. <laughs> they're just they're pretty dirty, man. Um, like the suede? Yeah, like the, there's damages on the suede. You can tell that probably isn't even, isn't even gonna come out even if I clean it. Yeah, I'll probably just hold off on these, bro. Um, what's your best on the starfish? Because I know new pairs are at like 120, bro. These are obviously pretty worn as well. Cool grays, though. Are they really that low now? They're pretty low, yeah. Last time I checked, at least. You said starfish. I think they're corals. Oh, yeah, corals, yeah. Bleach coral. Um, did you 60? Nah, I'd probably just hold off. What do you think your best would be? Yeah, it's probably 80. Would you uh, 70 uh, credit? I was, huh? Would you 70 credit on them? Because I was hoping you take both of them. I mean, I can make you an offer on these, bro. It's just going to be a bit low. What was it, like 150? I could do like 200 for both. Like 130 on these, because they are pretty dirty, man. Because these are, these are just, they've got suede damage and stuff, man. Like, it's going to be, it's not the easiest cleaning. And even if I can't clean them, I don't know if, if it's going to come out. The good thing is the star loss isn't too bad, but... Right there. Right. I'll do 200 for both if you want a credit for that. Is that your highest? Yeah, bro. Can't do 220 credit? Nah, I, I really couldn't, bro. Because that'd just be, yeah, be higher than I want to pay on these. All right, let me look around. Okay, okay. yeah, then, absolutely. Right. Yeah, just let me know. That's cool. So, yeah, as y'all know, I keep saying it. We are a little low right now on used pairs. Um, but I'll take them for the right price. Just. Right now, really just need dead stock because of Christmas. But um, yeah, these, as y'all can see, aren't the in the best shape, but definitely cleanable. No star loss, so nothing like not fixable. Just like some gunk, I guess, in the bottom right there. Um, <clears throat> maybe some creases that need to get taken out, but that's easy to fix too, just stuffing them. It'll come out eventually. And then the other shoe, again, yeah, I just need some cleaning. But that's why I was a little low on them, just for the viewers, just a little dirty that maybe you can't see on the camera. Same with the cool grays. Just have some suede damage and stuff. And some scuffs right here. Again, nothing like impossible to clean, but it is gonna take some elbow grease, so. Yeah, that's why we're a little, little bit lower on them. If they were DS, definitely would've paid up, but yeah. A little low on use right now. Not that it's not bad. Not that it's anything bad, just, you know. A little, a little worn, a little loved, if you will. So you wanted to do these? Yes, sir. 220. Did you just want to do a straight trade or? Oh, uh, you can check them out first. They're not DS. Oh, they're not DS? Okay. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, you might have to add a bit, man. These are pretty worn. Yeah. You got some scuffs and stuff right there. 
Mm, how much did you want for him, bro? I was thinking like 220 card hit. 220? Yeah, I like paying myself basically. That's pretty high, bro. I'm not gonna lie. We have a pair that's like VNDS that we're selling for like 250, so um, that's pretty high, yeah. Honestly, bro, in this condition, I'd probably offer like 150. 150? They're pretty worn, man. I mean, they're, they're pretty like, that's not cleanable, you know what I mean? It's, they're pretty scuffed up. You do like 180 credit? I'd be at 150, bro. 150. The suede's pretty dirty too. All right. I'm not gonna sell these for much. Yeah. Move around, though, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I got. I, I can do 150 credit 150. on them. I'll do 150. I'd be firm, bro. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. they're, they're dirty. Yeah, man. They're not. They're really not clean. I have to clean them, and I mean, th those those scuffs aren't coming out of them. So, fortunately. Pretty bad one right there. It's getting me, but you know, I guess the uppers aren't too bad and the bottoms aren't dragged up or anything. It's just the sides that are scuffed up, but I guess we can clean it a little bit. I'm gonna sell for pretty cheap too, probably for like 200 bucks. So, yeah. 150 credit, sell for like 200, maybe even a little less. So, we'll see. I'll come back in a couple of days. I'm gonna see if I can post it up first. Yeah, not. I tell you, bro, that's cool. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you. you. All right, so he said he's gonna try to sell them somewhere else and hopefully come back and buy those uh, new balances, which is cool. Get your money if you can, but yeah, I mean, for us to have to take them back and clean them and, you know, put some elbow grease, as I like to call it, into them, you gotta be a little bit lower, especially on that pair, they're a little bit pretty worn, but yeah, man, it doesn't always work out. He coming back, Logan? He ain't coming back. All right, we'll see. We'll see about that. So bro's gonna be taking the huffs off of us. Just talked about these at the beginning of the video. Eight and a half? Yeah, that's right. Can you grab a lens or something? Eight and a half. It's an eight and a half men's, it's cool? Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. She's a yeah, she's a ten and one. Okay, yeah, that's the that's the translation. Dead stock? Yeah. We already have a dead stock seven and a half. Um I mean I still take it, but the price would have to be right, bro. Well, um, what would you guys buy? Did what? you have a price in mind? Oh! I'll say I didn't. Yeah, I think so. You didn't have a price in mind at all? Just a ballpark number or something? Probably like around 290 around there. 290. I, I literally already have one, bro. I mean, my offers might be a little low, but that's just because I don't need two of them. Um, yeah, they're pretty low in the size too. I mean, they're at like 300 right now, bro. Um, bid's at 248. I'd offer like 230 cash, 250 credit if you wanted that. It's just, it's already a tough size. And if I didn't have a double, I could offer you more, man. But this is just gonna sit in the back till that seven and a half sells. And it's yeah. probably gonna take a while for that one to even sell. Hang on, I'll just give it Okay, yeah, no worries, yeah. bro. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. So, per usual, the Don, the greatest of all time has released a new shoe. Um, these looks like they're about to get loaded up on something because Travis just posted them. The Black Phantoms, let us know what y'all's thoughts are on these in the comments. I'm liking them. I'm liking the different shades of black on them because it's not really like an all black shoe. They've got like some charcoal on there. They've got some darker suede black. I like them, I like the contrast stitching and I'm a big all black shoe guy. So I'm gonna need these. Travis has done it again. He's done it again. What do you think? And that's just the typical fucking reseller hype he's literally, <laughs> literally anything Travis drops. Yup, I'm gonna need these. Uh, that's not even true. I don't like them. It's not even true. I don't like them. Well, I like the contrast stitching, but that's it. But yeah, man, he's done it again. Um, let us, again, let us know what y'all's thoughts are in the comments and hopefully we can hit on these, man. Wish us, wish us some luck. I, I've got a good feeling about these. I think I'm gonna hit. Apparently it's the biggest, um, our most stocked Travis Scott Jordan 1 to release. Did you know that? It's the most. Uh, I heard 200,000 pairs, which is by far the most. It's a good chance, so. You have a solid chance. Should I go for them and resell Everybody them? Everybody go for them. Can you go for my size if you're not going to keep them, bro? Uh, yeah, I'll tax you for it, like Daniel did. That's fine. Just go for 11 and a half. <laughs> Do 11 and a half. I don't like 12 on All these. Right. Can you go for 11 and a half? If you're going to sell them? Sure. Yeah, I'll go for 11 and a half. All right. What's your slut, guys? What's your slut? What if I change my mind on them and keep them? You are going, you are going to. I already know. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in for Full Day at the Shop Episode 16. Not the craziest day in terms of buyouts we did sell a lot though so that's good um you know some days are busier than others in terms of sales and buyouts so just one of those days but hey it's fully at the shop you guys get to see the the real 
of what it's like being here. So, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. See you all next week for episode 17. Later. Thank <laughs> you.